I'm going to talk a little bit about probably our favorite subject. And uh, no, it's not international trade. It's going to be, I'm going to talk a little about Justin Trudeau. I know, everyone's favorite topic. So um, he's got a famous quote. He said, the budget will balance itself. Do we remember this? It, and, and we all laughed because when he said it, we actually thought it was really funny. Someone who's the prime minister saying the budget will balance itself. The problem is it's had absolutely tragic consequences for our country. And I'll tell you a little bit about why that is. If you look at government spending between 2015, the last time there was a conservative government, and the current government, we are now spending $176 billion per year more. Think about that for a second. That's not in total over those eight years. It's every single year. It's a 43% increase in government spending. It is massive. Now, you might say, sure, but a lot of good things have happened from that. I challenge anyone here. <laughs> no, ser seriously, tell me one thing that is better in this country after increasing the federal spending by 43 percent. Yes, maybe the American dollar. That's that's correct. I was hoping we get an answer about Canada, but I appreciate that. So this is this is a real problem, right? Is our military better? No, absolutely not. Are our hospitals better? No. Are our roads better? No. Can you get a passport faster? No. So all this spending has not benefited all of you, the taxpayers, because government has no money of its own. Its money comes from you. And they have spent it on all kinds of things, none of which appear to have benefited Canadians that anyone can identify. And it's worse than that. He has doubled the national debt. So all the debt that it took a hundred and some odd years for various governments to accumulate, in eight years, the debt has doubled. And what do we have to show for it? This is the burning question. And so it's bad enough that we have this massive amount of debt now, $1.1 trillion, but what it's done to the country. So the chief economist, sorry, the, the chief economist from the Bank of Nova Scotia just said this week, half of the interest rate increases that have gone on in this country are caused by government spending. So think about that. As your mortgage rates go up, as interest rates go up, as people struggle to make ends meet because of this high interest rate environment, half of that is because of the unmitigated spending from this government that no one here can say has had a direct benefit for themselves. This is the economic disaster that we've gone through over eight years as a result of this Justin Trudeau Liberal government. And to put this into perspective even more, we now spend $4.3 billion, that's billion with a capital B, every month just paying the interest on the debt that's been racked up. So think about that, $50 billion per year just on interest, not paying down the debt not providing services to Canadians, just on interest on the debt, with nothing to show for it. This is a remarkable feat of incompetence. You almost have to admire how incompetent they are to do something like this. Which leads us to the next thing, the carbon tax. This is the next great lie of this government. So they said a bunch of things about it. They said number one is going to be revenue neutral, okay? Then they said it's also more people are going to get more money back as a result of the carbon tax. And they said it would protect the environment, right? It, greenhouse gas emissions would go down. All of these things are not only false, they're lies. And I will tell you, right now, there, you've heard this, the pause on the carbon tax on heating oil in Atlantic Canada. We've heard of this, right? To save some seats, some liberal seats in Atlantic Canada. We're not going to get the benefit of it. But those, you know, people who voted liberal in Atlantic Canada, they're getting the benefit. And a liberal minister said when questioned, why won't there be this kind of carve out and pause in the rest of Canada? And she said, well, maybe they should vote liberal. So 
I mean, I'm not kidding. You can't make this stuff up. But the parliamentary budget officer just said this pause on heating, the carbon tax on heating oil in Atlantic Canada, it's going to cost the government $755 million, almost a billion dollars. But, but I thought it was revenue neutral. If it's revenue neutral, how does pausing it cost the government money? These are the great lies that they're pushing on Canadians all the time.